Good day everyone. You are welcome to Science Explained. Today, we want to have a look at how we can prove that gamma of alpha equals to square root of pi. Gamma of alpha equals to square root of pi. Now, how do we prove this? We need to formulate. One, we have to recall the formula for gamma of n and a statistical formula for square root of pi. Before I continue with this video, I would like to say that at the end of watching this video, please, if you are impressed, do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel, like the button and share. And please, do not hesitate to pass your comment for further improvement in the quality of the teaching. Thank you. If you, if you would like to attempt this question, please do so while I pause the video. All right. Now, as I said earlier on, I need to recall two formulae. One, the gamma formula. Gamma of n equals integral of zero to integral of zero to infinity e to negative x multiplied by x raised to the power n minus one dx. That's the first formula you need to recall. Then the then the formula for gamma of n. Now, after then. We have to recall a statistical formula for square root of pi that says integral of zero to infinity of e to negative x square dx is equal to square root of pi over two. Now, this is what we want to work towards. Because what you are looking for is here, yeah, square root of pi, though it's divided by 2. But then, in the course of simplifying it, we can get rid of these two. So that means, how do I now focus on getting this statistical formula from the gamma formula? Let us go. Put n equals to... Put n equals to half. Since the formula here is for gamma of n, and I want to prove gamma of half, so I'm using half to replace n. Therefore, the value of n I'm using is half. Many anywhere I see n in the formula for the gamma, I will replace with 1 over 2. Therefore, I have gamma of 1 over 2 equals to Integral from 0 to infinity, e to negative x, x raised to power half minus 1 dx. I have replaced n here with half. So definitely, that will give us integral from 0 to infinity, e to negative x, multiplied by x raised to power minus half dx. Alright, that is the first phase. What next? All right, in order to bring this square, if you look at the statistical formula here, you will see that x here is carrying power of what? 2. Okay, let x here equals to y square. That means I'm trying to introduce a power of 2 to, uh, into this, uh, into this uh, formula. So if x is y squared, that means anywhere I see x here, I will replace with y squared. So that means gamma of half will now be equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to negative y squared. Instead of writing x now, I'm replacing x with y squared. Multiplied by, instead of writing this x, I will write y square then raised to power negative half 
dx. Now, I need to get rid of this dx. Why? Because I am dealing with variable y. I'm no longer dealing with variable x. How do I do that? I will go back to my substitution here. That let x equals to what? y squared. From x equals to y squared, I will differentiate. That is the only thing that can bring out dx. So if I, in, 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 if, I, if I differentiate x, I will get dx equals 2y dy. Meaning that I can use 2y dy to replace dx in this formula. So I will have gamma of r equals integral from 0 to infinity e to negative y square multiplied by these two, we cancel these two here. That will now be y raised to power minus 1. Multiply by, instead of writing dx, I will write 2y dy. You can now see that everything now is in form of variable y. So the next thing is to simplify. As a matter of fact, this y, we cancel this y because this minus means 1 over y. So let me show that. 0 to infinity e to negative y squared times 1 over y, because my y to negative 1 means 1 over y, times 2y dy. y cancels y. So what I have left is 2 here. So I'll bring the 2 out of the integral. So gamma of half will be 2 integral 0 to infinity. Then e to negative y squared dy. Now, by the time you compare this with this statistical formula, you will notice that they are the same. Let me bring this one up because the video might not be covering this down, down of, the, of the board. Okay. Now, from here, I have gamma of half equals integral of 0 to infinity e to negative y squared times 2 dy. So these two will come out of there. That means gamma of half equals 2 integral from 0 to infinity e to negative y squared dy. If you compare this with this, say, if you compare this with this box, you will see that this statistical formula has been obtained here. But the only change there is variable, so which doesn't matter. Variable x is here, variable y is here. This one can also be any variable. It could be variable y. It doesn't matter that, that, that it must be x. So having compared this with this, it is obvious that this equals to this. So meaning that gamma of half now will be equal to gamma of half will be equal to 2 times instead of writing this we will now substitute with this which is 12 of pi over 2 these two cancel these two so I think I need to create more space here. All right. So I'll bring in this now. That's gamma of R equals to 2 times, then the whole of this, the whole of this integral will be replaced with square root of pi over 2. So 2 cancel 2, that means gamma of r equals to what? Square root of what? Pi. So that's the end of the proof. So if you are interested in this video, please do not hesitate to subscribe, like the button, and share. In my next tutorial, I'm going to treat another question different from this.
see you today. Thank you.